I'm getting old. <laughs> Y'all heard that great. <laughs> I fixed myself so I look presentable on camera for you guys. And so far, good. Checking myself over here, guys. I have another camera over here. Let's get straight into it. So hey guys, um, my name is Anya or Miss AAB. If you're new here, if you're not, welcome back guys. So today we're gonna talk about some money. Um, <laughs> who don't love to talk about money? I mean, everybody loves talking about money at this point. Money is a huge ordeal in our life. So let's not talk about it. Let me, uh, let's talk about it guys. It is income tax season okay everybody is getting prepared or already have done their taxes and a good way to make some financial adjustments or to elevate yourself financially is to make better decisions with your tax refund this year guys so i got y'all i'm gonna give y'all some advice on how you can make good decisions with it this year wait we should be trying to elevate level up you know become better do better receive better so in order to get to that point, you have to make smart decisions, be dedicated, and set some goals. First and foremost, okay, if you're getting a tax refund this year and you have debt, off the bat, put that money into your debt, okay? But here's the thing, if you're gonna pay off your debt with your tax refund try not to gain more debt because here's the thing you just use your tax refund to pay off some debt to help you and then you go off and spend more money or get yourself in more debt which makes the whole point of reducing your debt with your tax refund non-existent like it just doesn't make sense so if you are if you have some debt immediately paid off with your debt but try not to use more debt guys so maybe um debt is not your issue right maybe all your debt is in order why not invest the money so you can invest the money in multiple ways okay you could start a business which is an amazing idea figure out what you want to sell whether it's a product or a service which needed right now maybe that money could go towards creating your llc or whatever way you decide to incorporate that business maybe it can go into inventory maybe it can go into marketing maybe it can go to getting some legal advice you can also use it to help build your business credit um and when i say this i mean um maybe use that money to fund the things that you buy on your business credit if you don't have that um if you're not sure how to do that i do have an ebook on how to build business credit. And I also talked about it in my last AAB Finance video. If you haven't watched it, go watch it, okay? I'm gonna put the thumbnail here. <laughs> Get into it, guys. This is free information, okay? If you have a business, you should have business credit. That's all I'm gonna say. You can invest without having a business. I don't know if you guys know that, but you can invest it into like the stocks, real estate, um, retirement plans, and etc. Um, you have a job and you're not enrolled into a 401k, you should definitely be enrolled into your phone way. I would immediately contact my HR department and ask them, that's my dog guys. I would immediately ask them, how can I get enrolled today? So if I was you and you're not enrolled, definitely enroll into that. And um, you can use, you can put that money into your 401k to kind of help speed up your balance in terms of retirement, um, if you work for yourself or you have a 401k, but you're trying to find other ways to invest your money, you can open up a Roth IRA if you haven't. I am a huge, huge advocate for Roth IRAs. I love Roth IRAs over bank account, well, savings accounts. I love Roth IRAs over savings accounts. So you're gonna hear me talk about Roth IRAs on this channel all the time. <laughs> but um, if you, especially if you own a business, you know, you don't want to own a business and not have no type of plan for the future. So Roth IRA would pick, fit perfect for your situation. Um, so look up Roth IRA and figure out, you know, how much you can put in a year and figure out the rules and regulations and everything about it. Um, one of the reasons why I love a Roth IRA is because it's a high yield um, interest account. Um, which when I say high yield, I mean it's higher than your savings account. A usual savings account is about below 1% per year. And they say a Roth IRA could be up to like 6 to 10% on average per year in terms of interest. So 
that's why I'm a huge advocate for it, as well as the simple fact that you can always take the money out like a bank account whenever you want. However, you can't take the money that you made through your Roth IRA out. You can only take out what you contribute to your Roth IRA. So you can also use that as like a bank account in a sense as well, or a savings account in a sense as well. It's like the new updated savings account. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you are interested in a Roth IRA or you're trying to figure out another way to invest your money outside of a 401k, I would definitely look, look up to look up that and look into it. There's many of brokers guys online. The business is not for you. If investing it through stocks or real estate is not for you right now. If you have a child or you have like a niece or a nephew, that's another way that you can use it in a smart way. You can use that by either starting your niece or nephew a business, or if they already have a business, you can sponsor their business or invest the money into their business, but you can also buy real estate or buy them some stocks with that money as well. Pay it forward, why not? If you're the type of person where you have all your ducks in a row already, kudos, props to you, okay? Because it took me a while to figure that out. But if you have your business situated or if you have your investment situated already, you already got your daughter, your son, your niece, or your nephew kind of situated already or starting to get situated and you're trying to figure out another way to make use of your money. Um, and you, you know, at this point, you probably don't have that much debt. You're just trying to just have fun with your money type of thing. Um, another good way that you can use your money or spend your um, refund check money is by going on a trip. Um, educating yourself, maybe take a business class or like a social class, emotional class, or even a mental class. Um, I know for me this year, I told myself that I was going to learn a new language. So right now I am taking a Spanish class. You could do that, invest in yourself. Um, maybe you decide to, some people want to invest in their body and get their teeth done or get something done that made them insecure. You can do that. Whatever the case may be. Um, all I'm pushing for is that we make smart decisions with the money and don't spend the money on useless, just spending the money on, on something stupid, such as like, like a shoe or like a bag or like furniture or, you know, those things like that. My goal as a finance professional is to educate the black community about personal finances. And I feel like, you know, if you're like me growing up, tax refund was an amazing time <laughs> you know you always heard the adults like oh you know i can't wait for a tax refund like oh my god we're gonna do this we're gonna spend it on that and that and i just felt like you know i grew up being immune to that so when i became a young adult i thought it was normal to spend your tax refund on whatever you wanted to spend it on like you know like it was like a like oh it's christmas like i get to spend my money on you know but as i got older and started to learn more about finance and accounting personal finance and things like that, I realized that no, this is the perfect opportunity for you to make a smarter decision with the money, um, especially invest in the money, you know, or catching up on debt that you may have. Now, you know, everybody is not in a situation where they have all their ducks in a row already. So a lot of people may have a lot of debt or they may be behind on a few bills, but this is literally the perfect time to handle your business <laughs> so if you need to handle your business and you know you need to handle handle your business before you buy that shoe handle your business before you buy that bag <laughs> handle your business before you go on that trip make sure you just got everything handled before you do all of those because that stuff that can wait but you don't spend that kind of money on a, a bag a shoe or a trip like when you come back from your trip you're gonna be in the same situation you was before you left and then if you come you spend that money on the shoe in the bag you got the shoe in the bag now what <laughs> I feel like another good way to use your um, tax refund this year would be for like therapy. Um, just an extension of self-care, self-love that I talked about is one of the options. Um, and I say this because I feel like people in the black community, especially for whatever reason, we just feel like when I say we, I'm just speaking as, as speaking of us as a whole to take accountability um but i just feel like as a whole we don't really emphasize how important it is for us to have therapy especially because of all of the generational trauma that we are born into okay and a lot of us don't even know that it's trauma so i feel like it's extremely important 
but yeah guys so this was a quick video but i kind of just wanted to give some tips on great ways to spend your tax refund because especially for the young adults who are maybe just getting a tax refund for the first time or maybe this is their second third time and they just don't know what to do or maybe they're thinking like oh i want to go do, 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 do and get all of this but there's they don't understand or have an idea of smarter ways to spend it so i figure i'll just make this video and put it out there um especially around the season because it is tax season guys and let you guys um get some insight or a different perspective on how you should spend that money so i hope you guys love that video there will definitely be more finance videos coming more often i promise and yeah i hope you guys um enjoyed it if you haven't already please subscribe please like talk to me go in the comment section let me know what you're thinking about this video or what you learned or whatever you just want to add i want to hear you guys okay so see you in my next upload guys